it, guys. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be here. You can't even believe it. I'm actually really happy to announce, guys, that I just lost 10 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. An hour ago, when I put these spanks on, yeah! Oh, you hear that? That's the patriarch, okay? You heard it. I am really lucky, though. This is like, ugh, this job is the best job. And for this job, I gotta travel all the time. And this happens to me all the time. It happened when I came here. I had to go to the big TSA machine where like you put your hands at the top and they see like your tampons and stuff. <laughs> right, so I had to go through and the woman stops me. She goes, excuse me, miss. We have to stop you. Your butt set off the machine. <laughs> yeah. You guys know what that means. It means that this ass is a threat to Homeland Security, you guys. Look at it. Oh, no. It's so dangerous. Oh, it's coming right for you. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. If you look too deeply, you'll see your future. So, <laughs> this happens to me every time. It always happens. And this is why. It's because my thighs touch. That's it. Yeah, because I'm constantly marinating down there all the time. <laughs> Ooh. I see some people are uncomfortable with that thought. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's like a brisket. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a good 12-hour marinade going on right now. <laughs> Do you like barbecue? <laughs> all right. You're creepy. Um, <laughs> not, I was the creepy one. That was my fault. I go home a lot. I travel a lot to, back to Minnesota, where I'm from. And I have a little sister there. She's nine, right? And when she's younger, people always assumed she was my kid. So they're always like, oh, it's such a shame to have a baby so young. Who's the father? I'm like, I don't know, my dad. And, uh, <laughs> for her. That's my job, right? So any question she has about being a woman, I answer very honestly. She was like, hey, Jenny, why do you have hair on your legs? And I was like, well, Olivia, when you get older, you're going to get lazy. Next question. <laughs> right? She's like, hey, Jenny, why do you have pimples on your butt? And I'm like, because I got tired of my face. Shut up. <laughs> no more questions. And I feel like we tell little girls that they are pretty before anything else, right? So I always tell her that she's smart, she's creative, she's courageous. I never tell her she's pretty because I'm the pretty one, all right? <laughs> she's understand that. But she's gonna be weird. She's gonna be a weird girl because she's got an old dad. Like my dad was 50 when he had her. Like I remember when he was young and fun and cool. We do cool stuff like horseback riding and skiing. I'm like, Olivia, what do you and dad do for fun now? And she's like, oh, we drink vodka and talk about buying a gun. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's some old dad shit. <laughs> also, her parents are old, both of them are, and uh, they do old people weird stuff. Like, do you guys remember when you were young, you would have a nightmare? and you'd run into your parents' bedrooms, right? Both her parents have CPAP machines. <laughs> yeah. If you guys didn't know what that is, basically is after 50, your body tries to kill itself every night. <laughs> so you have to put a dumb mask over your face. And your body's just like, let me go. And you're like, no, 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 I have a prescription. So. <laughs> She runs in to see these two Darth Vader zombies just asleep in the bed, like. What's wrong, Olivia? Are you having a nightmare? And she's like, fuck it, I'm gonna chill with the ghosts. And now, I don't need this shit. Couldn't tell already, guys, I'm a feminist, I'm a big. Big, dumb feminist. <laughs> and where are my other feminists at? <laughs> All right, nice, very nice. I did feel a couple of dude buttholes tighten up, not gonna lie. <laughs> Bros, loosen your buttholes up, okay? Let the love in, let the love in. 
Because I get it. I know what a lot of guys think when they hear the word feminism. They think of like a feminazi liberal arts student with a vagina on her head being like, we're coming for your dicks. We're not. Okay, I love dicks. Oh. <laughs> I love them. It's what's attached to them that's frustrating. That's the problem. <laughs> but look, I will be the first one to tell you guys that sometimes Women will do stuff that is annoying, okay? For example, I had a friend say this. It was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard, okay? She goes, Jenny, I have to lose weight because I have to get rid of my camel toe. <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> you can't diet your vagina away, okay? <laughs> can't do it, it's just gonna be there. There's only one way to stop camel toe, ladies, and that's to keep it hairy, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, some pushback here, guys. I, okay, look, it's cold outside, put a hat on, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I live in LA, but I keep it very Midwest down there. <laughs> all right, it is Minnesota, Wisconsin, all the time. <laughs> 